Hello guys, welcome back to Park Overviews. Um, in this one we're going to be looking at Canopy Cove, which is by Bibris, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, he only used four mods, which is actually really interesting. It's one of the lowest um, I've seen so far. Um, and yeah, so we're going to hop on in and see what Canopy Cove is about. Um, from what I know, I've only seen like one picture. Um, and it was sort of like a piratey type uh, looking build. Um, and I'm really excited to take a look because I don't think I've really seen. I think this is the first build I've seen from this player. Um, so yeah, I am pretty excited. Already off the bat, I can tell that this is an amazing, well crafted build since it has this beautiful pirate ship um, that they made out of. Uh, different walls, actually. It's actually a really well-crafted pirate ship for literally just being a simple, like, flat curve and some flat walls. Like, it is very simple in the shape, but it looks fantastic. Um, I assume this is just a triangle. Uh, I am sure I can check. Yeah, oh, no, it's a wall. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, they just really expertly used a lot of the pieces. Um, it's a great way of hiding the park entrance. I think the park entrance is in there. It is, yes. Um, so that is a very great use at uh, hiding the park entrance. I do love how it's sort of docked and that's where the people come off. That's just really clever. Um, overall, this whole pirate town is really pretty. I like how it's just sort of just rackety, you know, all these shacks sort of like put together. It's just really cool. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, actually looking at it, um, I love how everything is sort of just hanging on for dear life. Especially right here, sort of hanging with this rope bridge. Um, it's actually a great way of doing a rope bridge. I've never thought of doing that way. Um, and this sort of dock looking thing. Oh, it's just great. Um, I love that a lot. Um, and then when we go up here, we got just uh, the coaster flying through here. Um, nothing too crazy back here. Just some simple plant work. I am curious what that is, though. I've never seen this thing before. It's a willow tree. From what? Oh, fully the Central's one. Or two. I didn't even know this willow was in there. It's very beautiful. Dang. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. I like this retaining wall right there. I like these retaining walls, actually. They're really, they really sort of set it. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. Um, I also like how you've, uh, put in, like, you know, sort of these crates everywhere these barrels it makes it feel very like cluttered um and i honestly think that's perfect for this kind of theme for a pirate theme i feel like pirate theme is very cluttered um in a good way um at least from what i think of a pirate theme i think of like tons of like masts and sails and all that crazy stuff and this is just more of a pirate village um so i still think it's very very cool i also love how you custom supported uh parts of the coaster that's really, really cool. It's really unique, actually, connecting it to the buildings. Um, it's less it's less realistic that uh, Walter had what Walter had, um, but it's still, I love it. Uh, it's great. Um, I also love these uh, sort of banners. Just, like, everything is just sort of cleanly put together. Like, everything just seamlessly, like, connects to Lift Hill. Um, I don't know. It works really nicely. So, your lift is going into metal? <laughs> I don't think that's what's the lift. Is that actually what happens on this coaster? Why does it glitch like that? That is really interesting. Well, I guess that's a bug. Um, but yeah, this is really uh, amazing. I love this a lot. Um, I'm actually curious, did you just use crates? Yeah, I think you just used crates. Um, that's actually really clever, to use crates as a, like, a store stall. I mean... Um, I probably would have shrunk it. Um, I, just a suggestion. Um, what you could have done is shrunk it a bit. Um, uh, right. Um, let me get down a little bit lower. 
And then you do this. And then boom. So you could have done that, but I, I love what you did anyway with the crates. It's a wonderful idea doing that. Um, I absolutely love that. And then moving over here, our, the rock work is pretty cool. Is this coaster called Cyclone? I like that. Cyclone is a really cool name, and I love this sign. This sign is so sick. I don't know. It, like, it just, the font looks really nice. I don't know what font it is, actually. What font is that? Oh, it's custom. And how did you do this? What is this? I've never seen this symbol before. And that is very, very cool. Um, yeah, I don't even know what this is. That's really cool, though. Um, great use of the custom text sign. Um, coming over here, got a bunch of, like, sort of broken wooden f uh, retaining walls, which I think is super cool. I've never seen sort of, like, this broken retaining wall with, like, the sand sort of peeking through. Um, something that I think would really sell it if you put uh, some sand piles, but I, I love that you put the detail in to put in all these poles. Um, that is a really cool retaining wall look. I love that a lot. It's super, super pretty. Um, I also love the colors you went with for the rocks and everything. Um, I think that your colors in this park is spot on, I must say. Um, absolutely spot on. Um, coming over here, got just more foliage, um, more foliage, just a little shade area, shaded area, and then nice first aid area, some nice buildings, details, and a different roof, I think that's, oh, oh no, that roof appears everywhere else. Um, yeah, that's really cool. I also love this station, how it has this sort of shelf, um, that's really cool, actually. And how it sort of breaks through the uh, um, wall here. It would have been interesting. I don't know if you were using F2K, but it could have been interesting if there were some like maybe boards down here, like to show that maybe it really did break through. Um, but I love it either way. Again, over here, the same thing. A uh, great choice of doing that. I love that. Also, love that it's like hovering over the water, like pretty much around the whole thing. Um, I think that's really cool. Like how it just sort of flies out around this cliff, uh, around this willow tree. I think that's really, really pretty. Um, coming over to this tran- or this, uh, break run? Block break? Um, yeah, this block break is really cool. I love how it's supported. Love these ropes and these lights. The lights, uh, supports are really nicely done, nice, clean. Um, it's, like, very good. Uh, well done on that. I do like this uh, little <laughs> little eating area, I guess. They like where the pirates might be. Um, I do like that. It's like a nice little like sandy cliff area. I think that's really cool. Same here. I think again, this swirl around the water is a really cool idea. And coming out through this rocks is really cool. Actually, I love that a lot. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. And does it actually go through? It does go through a cave. That's actually really cool. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, that's really, really cool. Yeah. Wow. I also love that you sort of stacked on two trees here. Um, really sells, like, the jungle vibe. Um, I would say. Um, really just, you know, piling in those trees and everything, and... Um, oh, also, yo, okay, that's actually really cool, is tying the rope, um, to the tree, and then pulling it down to here to hold up the support for the coaster. That's actually a really cool idea. Um, yeah, I love that. That's really, really awesome. Um, yeah. I think... I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, let me look. Actually, I am missing some stuff. Um, let's look at no scenery. Um, we've got two bathrooms down here, a few shops, and a staff room. How is the staff room hidden? I was just using some simple doors. Alright. Nice. Um, you know what? Let's take a look at it at night. 
Now let me turn it to night real quick. Again, pretty simple lighting. It's not anything to write home about. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nicely done. I like the blue over here. I feel like the blue could have been done. Yeah, I think he did the blue over here along the coast, which really helps that out. Um, I feel like the green maybe here is a bit confusing. Um, because green is supposed to be like more mystery and like I know you were trying to get like that sort of jungle green look, right? But I feel like to me, like green is more like mystery or like, you know, are you about to go to a scary part, you know, or purple, that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like maybe more like purple would have been nice here or, but I do love the blue sort of glow around the whole coaster, around the water. Really, really like that. And I also really like, uh, just the lights everywhere. It's really well done. Um, placed pretty nicely. It's not too much, not too little. It's nice enough to make it look like it was, it's a lived in town. Um, again, the ship, amazing. Fantastic job on that custom ship. Um, how did you actually do this uh, crow's nest? I'm actually curious. Oh, you just used a basket. That's actually really clever. Yeah, that is super, super clever. I love that. I think that's it. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this park. It's really, really cute and quaint. Um, and I love it. And I love that you put the sign again up here. I think that's really cool. I don't think, I don't remember many other coasters that like will like put their sign at the front and like on their station. Um, but it is a really great idea and I love, it fits really well here. Um, I love it a lot. Um... I think, I think that's all I have to say about this park. Um, it's a really great park. Great detail, great lighting. Um, and yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see another build from you. I really, really like it. Um, so hope, hope to you that you uh, win whenever you uh, submit again. Um, so yeah, with that, hope everyone uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to check this out, it is on the workshop, uh, just look up, and I'll actually remember what it's called, it is called Canopy Cove, so you can look that up, and you can, uh, subscribe to it and check it out yourself, if you would like, um, it's a really, really cool park, and, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.